Problem solved. Of course, there was a real problem. We chose our own way. The way we chose was without God. We believed that we could be like God, that we could be like him without him. We didn't want him, we didn't need him, and we weren't even sure if we liked him. We each went our own way. Sin is not doing things wrong, it's being wrong. Our being was wrong. Without him he's wrong. He is love, he is life. Without him, we still had love and life, but not in the measure we were created for. Fear, emptiness and despair took up some of that space. Without love and life, we got things wrong and did things wrong. We made a mess. But long before the world was created, God, the three-in-one God, talked together and they knew that bringing children to birth into this beautiful world would be a risk. They didn't want robots. They wanted children who would choose to love freely. These children, created in his image, would have the right to choose. God knew they would choose to do their own things, resulting in chaos, darkness, difficulties and an increasingly gloomier world. Long before all things were created, as the Godhead were talking about this, Jesus suddenly said, Father, send me. I will go. I will show them how they can live with you, how they can overcome this darkness. I will take all the sin of the whole world upon myself. All the pain, the grief, the sickness, the iniquity. We love them so much. We will show them that this love for them fights for them, cries for them, takes their burdens, carries their sorrows, takes their pain, dies for them, overcomes all things and rises above all darkness. And God said, Go. As Peter made clear in 1 Peter 1 verse 20, he, Jesus, indeed was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. Everything that was a problem is solved. Every door that was closed is open. Everything that was opposed to you was disarmed. Every darkness was overcome. Jesus has made it possible for you to live a life like he did, in love with the Father 